So it's been two months now since I did the unboxing video of the Zero Shoes Colorado sandals. And I thought it's about time to do the full review video and see how they've stood up to the punishment on the Wildwind Beach. Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, coming from Wildwind sailing holidays on the Greek island of Lefkos in Vasiliki Bay. And um, yeah, so the Zero Shoes Colorados were sent to me just over two months ago now. And to be honest, I've got to try to make this review not just seem like a blatant advert for these shoes. Because just to cut to the chase, I am a massive fan of these sandals. They have become like basically an extension of my feet. And um, I don't think I could ever turn back from wearing these. Why is that then, I hear you cry? Well, the thing is, once you put these on, you pretty much forget that you've got them on. And I think that can only be a good thing. They're so comfortable, you've got loads of space for your toes. And with the very thin sole, it's thin, it's almost not there. Um, it protects, it's enough to protect your feet from anything pointy on the floor, but you kind of do really get that barefoot feeling, uh, which is just nice. You feel so free of just having these big, heavy, clompy things attached to your feet, which you, you don't need that. You want as little as possible attached to your feet, uh, and it gives you that sense of freedom, which is fantastic. And then working on the beach here at Wildwind, we're in and out of the water a huge amount. Um, and in the past, I've always had to be changing shoes for going into the water, then taking them off for on the land, either because they were too hot, because they were sailing shoes, or just because they're too uncomfortable. But with these bad boys, I just have them on all the time. I don't care because I don't even feel like I've got them on. And then the added bonus, which I really was not expecting, was the performance of the shoes actually on the boats. Uh, I've been using the shoes both on the catamarans and the monohulls, as you may have seen in previous videos. And for trapezing, it's amazing. The grip is actually better than the proper sailing shoes. Once again, I have to say, these shoes are gripping so well, better than the, the proper boots, which I know sounds unfeasible, but it's true. This grip is very good. It's a reasonably sort of, it's not a soft compound rubber. I'd say it's a medium compound rubber, which really does stick to the side of the boat, just how you want it to stick which is absolutely great. And again, you don't feel like you're wearing any shoes, which is really nice. You don't get the hot feet in these hot conditions that you might get wearing a dinghy boot or a neoprene shoe. And then in the, in the monohull, again, the same features, the great grip and the minimalist feel of these shoes has been absolutely Fantastic, no word of an exaggeration there. Another feature of the Colorados is they kind of make your feet look a bit smaller. I know that sounds weird because you've got so much space for your toes in these, but how can they make your feet look smaller? I've got fairly small feet anyway, and with the Colorados on, it's like, wow, my feet are small. Uh, but definitely if you've got larger feet and you want your feet to seem a little bit smaller, these could certainly be a good idea. I think it's because the outline of the shoe is exactly the same 
almost as the outline of your foot so there's no sole wasted which is just flapping away without any foot on top of it and then if we're going to talk about durability even after two months of hard use they still look like new this is incredible i don't know what this material is but it feels great it's like i don't know a very soft supple perhaps leathery plastic stuff which feels fantastic you don't have to adjust the elastic laces at all the only maintenance that i've been doing which of course is very sensible is after each time i've worn them in the water at the next opportunity i'll go and rinse them in fresh water uh, because everybody knows that the salt water isn't going to do anything any good so rinsing in fresh water is very important okay so the kind of slightly less positive points that i could come up with about these and i really had to think about it is the first one is they do take i'm not even going to say very long but once you've got your technique nailed for putting them on which is definitely getting your toes right up to the front first and then hooking this back part over your heel once you've got that technique nailed then perhaps they do take a few seconds uh, another less positive point is because of these vents on the side which are essential of course to keep your feet cool uh, walking in and out of the water on the beach with the tiny stones you do occasionally get tiny stones going inside but i don't know how you could do anything about that so that's just necessary for this style of shoe and then the other negative point is if you do exist somewhere with a good amount of sunshine and you wear your colorados all the time is these ridiculous tan lines on your feet but of course those negative points are pretty minor i would say these are an absolute find um they do come in two colors and occasionally i especially when they were when i first had these i was thinking maybe i should have got them in the gr they're kind of like a gray with dark green very traditional sandal color but then I absolutely love the blue it really pops it fills my day with joy every time I look at my feet and um, absolutely love them I can't say enough good things about these shoes I think what's nice is by having this sort of style of barefoot shoe you know for sure that you're doing the right thing by your feet which when your whole body comes kind of from your feet like the feet affect the knees that affects the hips affects your back affects your shoulders your neck your head so if you don't get what is going on from the bottom right how can you get anything else right so by starting with the right things on your feet to do the best you possibly can for your whole body I think you're on to a winner here. If you want to get a set, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and um, that will actually mean I get a small amount of commission, which is nice. Um, if you'd rather not click on that link and just Google it instead, that's your choice. But uh, it's your choice. I'm just happy to have these on my feet, to be honest. Uh, so right now I'm going to put them back on because I've been walking on the stones remembering how it wasn't such a good time walking on the stones before the Colorados came along. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this might have uh, made it an easier choice if you're looking at getting a pair of these. Uh, definitely well worth it. And thanks to Zero Shoes for making this absolutely superb pair of shoes. Sandals. I'll call them shoes if I may.
And one thing I even forgot to mention because it's just not there is with some shoes that you wear in the water, when you come out of the water, they make an annoying squelching sound. Well, check out this. That's right, no squelch at all. Now that is what you need on your shoe rack.